Hello church, it's Friday, and I'm so blessed to be with you here today to share God's word. Today we're going to continue with our series on who is Jesus and look at the second I am statement that Jesus makes in John chapter 8. The first one was Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And here in John chapter 8, um, we see Jesus having an encounter with a woman who is caught in adultery. Um, the religious leaders bring this woman to Jesus. They say, Jesus, the law says we should stone her. What do you say? Jesus looks at the men and says, he who has not sinned can cast the first stone. All of these men convicted by their sins leave the woman alone, walk away, and Jesus is left alone with her. Jesus looks at her says, where have your accusers gone? She says, they've all left. And Jesus says, neither do I condemn you, but go and sin no more. And immediately following this, John 8, 12 says, Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So what does this mean? What is Jesus saying he is the light of the world? When we think of the light of the world, we think of the sun because the sun is what gives light to our world. Every single day we wake up and the sun is shining bright and then the sun goes down and it gets dark. But Jesus isn't talking about physical light. He's talking about spiritual light. And just as the sun brings physical light each and every single day so that we can see and so that there's life because without the sun, there would be no life on this planet. So Jesus is the spiritual light, which gives us spiritual life and spiritual sight so we can see and understand the things of God. You see, it is only through Jesus being the light that we are able to understand the word of God and understand God and accept God and Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Before Jesus, we walked in darkness. We walked in sin. We were lost in this world. We were lost in our sins and we had no hope of salvation. We had no hope of spiritual life. The Bible says we were dead in our sins. But Jesus comes as the light of the world and he comes and offers us salvation and opens our eyes so that we can see and understand our sins, convicted of our sins, and we can understand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is the only way unto the Father. But I want to encourage you, Jesus does, just doesn't give us spiritual life um, so that we can be saved and born again. But as he says in these verses... I am the light of the world, so I come to give you spiritual light so you can see and understand the things of God. But then he says, he who follows me shall not walk in darkness. Again, this is not literal darkness, but this is spiritual darkness, sin, separation from God. And just as the woman was caught in adultery and Jesus says to her, go and sin no more. If we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, if we've, our eyes have been opened, we've come into the light, we now see the things of God, we should walk in the light because Jesus is the light. Meaning we should leave behind our old sinful ways of darkness. That's not who we are anymore. We've been set free. The Bible says that if anyone's in Christ, he is a new creation. He says the old is past and all things have been made new. He says that that before Christ we were slaves of sin, but in Christ we've been set free and we're dead to sin and we're alive to God. We've been made spiritually alive, born again, and now we can walk in a newness of life. We can walk in the light of Christ Jesus, being obedient to his word, being led by the Holy Spirit, and leaving our old sinful ways and nature behind. John explained it like this. John chapter 3, verse 18 says, He who believes in him, in Jesus, is not condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. The light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. 
For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deed should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. If we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, then we need to come to the light. Talks about it here. Darkness or light. The world or Jesus. Sin or obedience. We can't serve two masters. If we love Jesus more than darkness, then we should be walking in the light and leaving our old sinful ways behind. Because Jesus is the light of the world. And just as the moon reflects the sun, so should we reflect the light of Jesus through our lives by loving God and loving our neighbor and walking in newness of life. Amen? So brothers, sisters, let us walk in the light because Jesus is the light of the world. The Bible says that through as let we should, we are the light as he is the light of the world we should let our light shine so that when people see our good works they will glorify our father who is in heaven so let's let our light shine so we can bring glory to our god and father so we can bring glory to jesus amen god bless you you have a wonderful day